Hi everybody! Nice to see you again! ワインメーカー訪問の中心に伴い、ヴィレッジセラーズが開催したルーインエステートオンラインテイスティング第2話へようこそ。このエピソードでは、アートシリーズシャルドネを中心に、ルーインのティムさん、ロージエのイグロさん、そしてフォーシーズンズホテル東京大手町の吉田さんに語っていただきます。まだ第1話のカベルネのエピソードをご覧になっていない方はぜひビデオの詳細にあるリンクからご覧くださいそれぞれの自己紹介やルインエステートについてご覧いただけますではまずティムさんに2020年のヴィンテージについてお伺いしますオーストラリアでは2019年の暮れに大規模な山火事が発生し2020年に入ってからはコロナの流行によるロックダウンと大変でしたがまずはルーインエステートでの様子をお聞かせください。Thankfully, we escaped the fires. So all the all the fires were on the eastern seaboard,、um, mainly in New South Wales around the Hunter and Canberra district,、um, and through the northern part of Victoria as well. So.、Um, Whilst we were watching the news,、um, we, we weren't affected at all in, in any way.、Um, and 2020 was one of the best climatic vintages that we've had for an incredibly long time. Overall, the, the yields in 2020 were、um, substantially lower. So, take Chardonnay, for instance, obviously that's. Uh, point of conversation clearly on、um, the tasting today.、Um, we were 20 to 30% down on yield、um, overall. And、um, that was caused by a couple of weather events.、Um, so it, it wasn't the fact that we have birds or kangaroos eating the, the fruit, it was actually, they were just naturally down. And Where you have smaller quantity, you have greater concentration.、Um, if it was the other way, there were birds and there were kangaroos, you'd still have the same amount of crop that was just eaten、um, or affected, I should say.、Um, so, what we have、um, in 2020 is lower yields for the best part、um, of, say, 20% across the board, that the intensity and concentration of what we received. Um, and, and what we were tasting through when we were walking through the vineyard rows,、um, and that correlates to wines that、um, I've, I started at Lewin in October 1st, 2010. And、um, these wines are incredible. And we're, it's, we're, all we're doing is just protecting them and, and nurturing them. And、um, they have fragrance, they have purity, they have clarity, they have. Um, flesh and, and but at the same time, there's this beautiful mineral thread that runs through, and、um, we're just super excited about、um, these wines、uh, one going to bottle and then forwardly being released. Well, there's certain things that they don't teach you at university. Um, or in life, and that's how to deal with、uh, a pandemic.、Um, it, it had its challenges.、Um, you know, I, I won't shy away from that.、Um, it had its challenges for everyone and still does across the globe. The vineyard and, and winery businesses were classified as an essential service. We are so fortunate and lucky that that happened because that meant that we were still able to operate. Um, there were a few thoughts that I was thinking that we might need to try and pick everything before something, any statements were made by the government, but it, it, it didn't happen. So,、um, having said that, there have been, and I wrote,、um, very strict guidelines in terms of, you know, it's not just about personal distancing or it's not, just, and there's, a, there's a whole myriad. Of points that, that go into a, a vintage like 2020. So 
But you know what? We have a really dedicated team at Lewin, both vineyard and winery, and we all pulled together and we did what we needed to do. And we're seeing the shining light of that with the with the wines that we've got in barrel and um, the aromatic whites that we've got in tank. It'll be a memorable vintage on on many different levels. 2020年ヴィンテージ本当にありがとうございましたルーインエステートのスタッフの皆様のおかげで素晴らしいワインが期待できそうですねではここからはアートシリーズシャルドネまずは醸造方法から説明していただきましょう The backbone behind Art Series Chardonnay is well it's quite a An infamous vineyard in, in Margaret River and, and no doubt in Australia as well.、Um, Block 20, first original planting of Chardonnay in Margaret River. So, whilst all the other producers were, were planting out Cabernet based or Bordelais based varietals because of the research papers which were done in the mid 60s, aligning that synergy between Margaret River and Bordeaux, Chardonnay was planted. That particular block runs on a, a westerly facing slope, north south rows. Its handling in the vineyard is, is meticulous.、Um, a lot of hand leaf,、um, really, to open up the eastern side of the canopy where the sun rises in the east.、Uh, and that's the cool part of the day. So we open up a lot of that side of the canopy、um, to allow that sunshine to come in. And then in the afternoon side, we tend to leave more leaf area on because that's the, the warmer part of the day. And what that really gives us is a, a greater definitive nature and、um, creating that beautiful consistency that we see. The clone itself is a clone called Jin Jin,、um, which has its origins from、um, California. It's a, it's a Wenty clone that prior to it coming into California, it arose from. From Merceau. And、um, with that, it has、uh, a bunch of morphology of、um, hen and chicken. So you've got the hens, which are the bigger berries, and you've got the chickens, which are the smaller berries. So the hens have delayed ripening. So ha- they have this beautiful mineral high acidity because they're delayed in ripening, and the chickens ripen earlier. So you have this concentration and real、uh, density almost on, on the palate or, or capacity. Of, Um, is probably a, a better de- term. So you've got kind of、um, you've got concentration, but you've got elegance and finesse、um, overall. And、um, Jin Jin is the clone that、um, is the most widely planted clone in Margaret River. It's not the only clones. We've got、um, the Dijon clones of 95, 96, 76, and 277. We've got Davis clones from America as well, 1, 3, and 5.、Um, but Jin Jin is、uh, the clone that really excels. Based upon what we find in terms of that beautiful balance between concentration and density, but then this beautiful elegance and, and finesse that runs through on the palate. So for a r t e r i Chardonnay, all hand harvested. We hand harvest that first light,、um, and then it's taken into the winery to de stem those bunches and chill down and put into press with skin contact for eight hours. Uh, and that, what that really does is、uh, intensifies everything that we see、um, without kind of gaining any phenolic characters. It really kind of just heightens the, the level of concentration. And that's, I think that's one of the reasons that's a key point of what makes Art Series Chardonnay so powerful and has great longevity. And then from there, we'll take a little bit of solids after light pressing,、um, and it goes into、uh, 100% mainly Bordelais Cooper Oak. Um, in 225 or Barrique,、um, whereby fermentation will exist for one to one and a half weeks.、Um, and then we might stir, unsulfur it a little bit,、um, and then sulfur up. So, no malolactic fermentation. All of the intensity and concentration is coming from the paddock, it's coming from the vineyard. And there's, there's no distortion of malolactic fermentation, overriding fruit. It's all Um, naturally carried through. So we, we gain a little bit of texture through extensive batonage, so stirring up of、uh, yeast leaves post fermentation.、Um, some good results have come out recently by, by stirring 
uh, a lot more in barrel prior to sulfur without losing any fruit freshness or, or, or fragrance overall. From there, um, Art Siri Chardonnay is, is in barrel for uh, there on about 11 months before we do our assemblage or, or put everything together. With that, as I said, block 20 is is the real backbone behind that. We do have a another block that was planted in 1978, so two or three years later, um, block 22, which runs on a different row aspect, and that's more fine and mineral, and 20 has the, the depth and richness and concentration that we're looking for. So it's really looking at pieces of the puzzle that um, each site, even though they might be 100 metres or 50 metres from each other, has their own identity and has their own character. Uh, from there, it's it's really a light fine and, and, and put into bottle and will hold in bottle for probably longer than most allies, as we like to, to say in Margaret River, because we're all we're all together as a team. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll tend to hold a little bit longer overall. Arigatou gozaimashita. Dewa, koko kara tasting ni hairimasu. Sardone wa wakai 2016 nen no hajime ni. So shite motto impact no tsuyoi 2006 nen o tsugi ni toyu junban de Tim san ga okonai. Tsuzuite Igro san to Yoshida san no komento o okiki itadakimasu. So the the 2016 vintage was, um, it was modelled um, in the fact that we had a really good rainfall in the pre-season in winter in 2015 and the spring was very mild. There's two concerning periods of um, weather, is one around flowering and fruit set and the other one is around um, harvest, obviously. You have a really windy period, which is what we can get with the Southern Ocean and the Indian Ocean. Um, a windy period around flowering can really distort how the maturity of the, the bunches uh, are going to carry on throughout the growing season. So um, 16 was, was modelled. There was no rain events. There was no heat spikes. Um, 2016, Art Siri Chardonnay, wow. Um, for me, one of my favourite Chardonnays that we have recently released Um it has these kind of heightened floral notes, kind of in this jasmine kind of chamomile note. But then you've got the the real pedigree of what Art Siri Chardonnay is about and that kind of cut lime, pear, nectarine, maybe white peach. Um, that's at the forefront um, on the nose. And then you've got these kind of subtle layers. So um, kind of nougat, brioche, kind of oatmeal um, aspects. And then the palette is where it almost it doesn't explode but it really comes to life where you've got this incredible capacity and volume on the palette you've got this uh shape and frame um and when i talk about shape and frame i'm talking about you've got texture but then you've got this line and and length that really kind of carries through and um what really underpins that is um the the natural acidity that that unfolds through and in a, in a lesser role, you, you see um, oak use. Looking at that wine in particular, you wouldn't think that it's been barrel fermented in 100% new French brie because the fruit is so much vitality and energy to it. And it's a four year old Chardonnay from, from vintage and it still has this youthfulness and, and drive to it. And I think that that's really the hallmark um, behind that wine. シャルドレモコ変えていくと本当にタルノカオリっていうのがすごく出ていて同時にこのフルーツの凝縮度も感じるのでまあすごくバランスが取れてるなと思うんですがあの実際アルコール度数も十三点五パーセントで収まっていて
思いました。Okay, let's、um, let's time travel. So you take a step back ten years, a very very different climatic vintage, um, two thousand six. This vintage was the first vintage for um senior winemaker at the time, Paul Atwood. Um, there were so many challenges in this vintage. It was. Not only cool, but it was moist and damp as well. We had a lot of rain through the early part of the growing season.、Um, this wine produced in a slightly different manner because of the the cool vintage. Our last pick of Cabernet in two thousand six was on May the sixth, so it was like five weeks late.、Um, so what we had on on harvest, and I actually. I actually looked at this wine as juice because I was only working next door at Voyager at the time. Super high acidity levels,、um, kind of on that Burgundian spec of how high these acids were, and the concentration of density of fruit and intensity、um, was slightly askew to、um, what we would normally see. This wine, fermented in barrel again, has actually undergone. Um, a degree of、um, malolactic fermentation,、um, and I think what that's given the wine now, and I think you can see it is, and it's almost a thread when you look at Art Cerise Chardonnay, and I think it's probably amplified in this vintage. Is it just this wine just starts to open up? It's like you look at the 2016, and it's quite cocooned and it's wrapped up, and now you really start to see this wine really kind of.、Um, Not necessarily evolve, but just really open up, and、um, I think you see that texturally as well.、Um, I think the colour on this wine is、um, is really bright. If you were to look, yeah, there you go. There's the colour. I think if you were to compare that in terms of a vintage comparison to the top Burgundian domains. It really stacks up colour-wise, and I think there's so many layers and contours to this wine, and I think you start to see a little bit more of that kind of oak and kind of alluring kind of brioche notes that come come through, and、um, you know, there's a little bit of oiliness or lanolin on the back palate, but、um, yeah, I, I love it. 2006年はやっぱりこの色を見ていただくと結構もうゴールドがかってて。あの、すごい発展的な状態にあるんですけど、香りも、ティームが言ったように、本当にブリオッシュとかトーストみたいな、もう香りも出てきていて、ちょっとジンジャーブレッドみたいな、本当に、あの、甘いタッチで、香ばしくもあって、ちょっとスモーキーなニュアンスとかもあって、シャルドネがこう、綺麗に熟成したなっていう、本当香りもあるんですけど、不思議と、この2016年と6年を比べても、同じなんですよね。こう、決して香りが、全然違うよねっていうわけではなくて、同じこの道筋といいますか、あの、にありますので、やっぱりこう、畑が変わらないっていうのは、こういうちゃんとテロワールを表してるんだなとも思いますし。2006年ヴィンテージの方は、やはりこう、10年熟成しているということもありまして、もうあの、香りから、えー、味わいから、見た目からもうすべてバランス取れて、で、こう、すべてにおいて丸みを帯びた。いい熟成したシャルドネだなというのが、えー、まず第一印象、感想です。で、あと一つ、まあ、気になったというか、意外だなと思ったのが、やはりこの2006にしても2016にしても、まあ、あのニューオークを使われている。若いうちの2016年に関しては、そのあまりこう、樽の主張がなかったイメージなんですけれども、この熟成した2006年の方は、今度は逆にあの余韻のところにこう非常にエレガントなえー、意味合いで、こう、樽をすごく感じるようになったんですね。まあ、あの、樽が違うのかもしれないんですが、まあ、通常だ,だと、こう、若いうちに樽の特徴があって、えー、熟成をしていくうちにそれがどんどんどんどん溶け込んでいくっていうイメージだったんですが、このルービンのシャルドネに関しては、その、年を取れば取るほど余韻にこう、こう素晴らしい樽の、えー、クリーミーさというのが出てきて、さらにこう余韻を引き伸ばしているなという、えー、印象でした。ではワインを楽しみながらアートシリーズシャルドネに対しての Q&A をまとめてご覧ください。
first of all, I have to say I'm a great fan of your R series Chardonnay, Tim. And まあ、マーガレットリバーって結構時効も最初多い時効も多いっていうふうに聞くんですけど例えばこの初めに1960年代の初頭ぐらいから植わってたっていうのを聞くと今でもそのまま時効を続けてるのかとあとはそのブロック20って実際植え替えしたりとかってしてるんですか Firstly, two great questions. Marga River, with its geographical isolation,、um, we're not impacted or influenced by phylloxera, probably the first and the foremost reason why you would plant on, on root stock. So, all of our vineyards are planted on, on their own roots.、Um, and for the best part in, in Marga River overall, There are trial plantings on you know, grafted different rootstocks overall. We're very fortunate in that aspect. And、um, moving to the second question,、um, in terms of the、uh, original plantings of,、uh, with Block 20, Chardonnay as a varietal doesn't necessarily have the,、uh, the life capacity of, say, Grenache or Shiraz, for instance, that in Australia. Can, can exist for well beyond 100 years, even though Block 20 is maybe in its infancy compared to the, that number of years that I was talking about.、Um, we take cutting off、um, Block 20、um, when we're staging in new plantings. So、um, a major planting occurred in 1997,、um, and that's、uh, funnily enough called Block 97. Um, and then we've、uh, moved on with those cuttings and、uh, planted in what we would call now the East Hill,、um, which was planted in October 2016. So we're just starting to see its second crop now, which was its first crop last year and now second crop this year. And we're continuing on planting. So it's more about the evolution、um, with newer plantings, knowing that. Chardonnay does have a shorter lifespan than most other varietals. And what we'll see is we'll start to layer down in, in Block 20 to ensure that we have that core pedigree in the vineyard. And it's not that we'll be changing anything, it's just that we know our raw material and we know the best sites. 世界的に、あの、シャルドネっていう品種を見て、やっぱりこう、タル熟成をしていくわけなんですけど、そのタル熟成も、その流行りじゃないですけど、えー、最近だとどんどん大きいフォーマットというか、まあ、300リットル、500リットルっていうふうに大きいフォーマットでタルの香りをなるべくつけないようにしたりですとか、あまあ、酸化を防ぐっていう意味合いでも大きいタルを使ったりすると思いますし、で、例えばブルゴーニュとか、あとはまあ、カルフォルニアとか、まあ、いろいろこう、ファインワインのシャルドネ作ってるとこたくさんありますが、あのその中でも、樽の熟成期間が11か月って結構短いと思うんですよ。そのあたりちょっとお聞かせください。It's a really great question, and I could talk about oak for about a week, because、um, that's how finite I am. Oak is a different science. The regions that are really quite fine tuned, like Adelaide Hills and And Yarra Valley, they're, they're finely boned. They'll actually use a larger format barrel, like a Demi Mew, which is a 600 litre barrel, or a Punch In, which is 500 litres. The benefit that we have with our fruit in Margaret River、um, is one, it comes down to clone, but it comes down to power and intensity that I, that I spoke about before. And what we need for Art Series Chardonnay is to have. Um, phenolic structure that comes from the fruit. So that's coming from the clone first. And then, secondly, you need phenolic structure coming from the barrel. So, if we were to put Art Series Chardonnay in a larger format barrel, the, the pellet would become short and broad.、Um, it wouldn't carry any direction or what I call shape and frame. The second thing is that all of our Chardonnay is barrel fermented and matured in 100% new French. Cooped oak. And that oak is very carefully selected.、Um, I travel to France on a regular basis and work with the coopers based upon grain tightness and toasting. If Art Series Chardonnay was barrel fermented in one year old oak, it'd look really stale and flat. You'd lose its energy and freshness and vitality and fragrance. So basically, we want, we want new oak on a barrique format because that's what's going to give. 
your penetration and drive. We want to see the fruit shine without being distracted by a heavy hand of a cooper in terms of its toasting. So that's why I look to Bordelais coopers because it's very measured. It's very precise. Burgundian coopers tend to get really toasty. Um, I call them kind of artisan coopers. I use Burgundian coopers, but not necessarily for Art Series Chardonnay. They begin, tend to become too rich and too toasty, and it can overshadow the fruit. So oak selection is key. We use two, 23 coopers um, in the portfolio of Lewin Estate, and within each cooper I might use three or four different types of oak um, that they have. And that um, it used to be maybe 10 years ago down to forest selection. Now it's grain selection and um, it, it comes down to, to toasting overall and, and how that impacts in the wine. So what Coopers I might use for block 20 versus what Coopers I might use for block 22, which will be uh, through Chardonnay, will be very different because of, how the fruit is expressed from the site in the vineyard. It really makes sense. I didn't know that you were using like a Bordelais coopers. So Bordelais cooper oak is a, a tighter grain. Um, Burgundian cooper oak is a wider grain and then it's toasted more. So you've got more surface area on a wider grain. So that's why those barrels look like nougat, brioche, caramel, toffee, bushfire if you like depending on the cooper um so we want to keep things very tight regimenting giving us that drive all the way through 2006年が13.5で2006年が14.5なんですねこれはなんかその時代的に こう、やっぱりフルボディのなんかシャルドネが流行ってたからこうやってあるあえて早摘みではなくて完璧に熟して14.5%まで糖度を上げたのか、それともなんかえ、ま、その年の特徴なのか、そういったちょっとことを聞
what we strive is um, the fact that we have everything in check all the way through. Have we changed our Coopers? Um, if I was to print out our Cooper selection that we had in 2006, um, you'd be hard to find a, a common Cooper um, or barrel that we're using at the moment. And that's because everything's transitional, um, everything changes. We're always trying to get the quality that we're, that we're setting out to achieve. If we had the same oak that we had in 2016, the Art Series Chardonnay would be a, a different wine. And you know, our, uh, that, that's part of our DNA for the pursuit of excellence is to, to keep on refining and tuning that overall. Um, the identity and the layers that in the question before, you see the correlation between 2006 and 2016. That's, that's what we're after. And that's what we'll continue to see um, in the next decade and the next decade as well. So the oak that we might be using in 2016, Art Series Chardonnay, may not necessarily be the same oak that we're going to be using in 2026 if we if we if we look forward, you know, a decade ahead of what we're tasting at the moment. And it's it's not about staying stagnant. It's all about being proactive. It's all about trialing. It's all about doing this in small quantities to start and you go, oh, I really kind of like that or I like a bit more of that. And then you can kind of build up those layers and that kind of creates the next generation. And um, it, it's not just... Um, sticking with what you know. Um, it's actually about pushing yourself and excelling um, overall. これで第2話アートシリーズサルドネのテイスティングウェビナーを終了します。楽しんでいただけましたでしょうか。まだカベルネのエピソードをご覧になっておられない方はぜひご覧ください。そしてこの2話にまとまりきらなかったインタビューを